Hello everyone, so in February 2020 I went on a mini holiday to Malta uh, for a weekend trip and this video is just showing um, that weekend trip so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you watched my previous video you would know that we stayed at a St George's Bay the Corinthia Hotel um, and uh, we got a hotel pickup um, from the airport. This was actually the, one of the first times we decided to use this um, incentive and um, the hotel were kind enough to arrange it for us and we had a lovely driver who gave us the brief history of Malta and um, really lovely and we could really connect with him uh, but yes yeah, so if you did see my previous video you'll know that um it was sort of a sponsored visit from Corinthia um and um you'll get to see a room tour um the facilities they had to offer and more in depth detail of the hotel itself um I'm going to Hi. not actually do an in depth room tour um and detail of the hotel itself in this video uh, but um once again, I just wanted to emphasize on how beautiful, clean um, the hotel was and how friendly the staff were. And it's it's massive. They have a lot to offer. Um, so, yeah, um, so definitely recommend it. Um, I, I think it was one of the best hotels we've ever stayed at. So we visited Malta in February, so this is February the 14th, 2020, and I can't believe the weather was absolutely amazing, much better than England at least. Bright sunny day, and this is a sunrise in Malta um, from our balcony. Um, we were lucky enough to get two balconies um, with the suite that we had. But yes, beautiful views um, in Malta, and um, I was a bit worried about the weather, um, but it was actually really pleasant. <music> The first thing we did was, of course, try the buffet breakfast. Uh, buff uh, the breakfast was included in our stay, and it was a buffet breakfast. There were a lot of different options, uh, both hot and cold food. And um, the staff were really friendly and really cooperative and really um informative as well. Um, answered all the questions that we had, um, in terms of allergies or vegetarian food um so then we had a look around the hotel um and this was when we sort of found out that we actually had a free shuttle to Valletta um and that is sort of every half an hour 40 minutes um so before we went to Valletta just, just had a look around the leisure facilities the hotel had a hairdressing a hairdresser's um a shop uh, and the inside swimming pool and they had sauna and um, they had jacuzzi um so they have quite a lot to offer even if you just want to stay in the hotel and not actually go out so you can actually have a nice time in the hotel itself <laughs> Next. 
Next, we booked a excursion, um, so a day trip to Gozo, um, and um, there's actually a desk right next to the reception in the hotel where a lady sort of books it for you. Um, so we booked a sightseeing bus tour for the next day. But yes, this is actually Valletta, so we used the free shuttle from the hotel to Valletta, um, and the next few clips will be sort of us walking around Valletta. Um, and uh, we actually didn't plan much for the day in Valletta, it was more just of walking around um, and just exploring. <laughs> So this is us again just walking through the streets of Valletta um, a lot happening lots of food stops lots of um, takeaways lots of shops um, a lot to do in Valletta so it was a really nice day uh, we were actually really tired by the end of the day so after getting some lunch uh, from a hotel takeaway in Valletta we decided to go back to the hotel um, and again take advantage of the indoor swimming pool the jacuzzi area um, and just um, relax for the evening uh, before um, we went out for dinner um, so we used the sauna um, again we were there um, on our own there was actually no one else there so it felt really inclusive um, and I really liked that really clean as well um, and yes yeah, so this was actually us in the evening and um, going to the town um, center which was only actually five minutes away from the hotel walking um, and again there were lots of pubs restaurants takeaways um, and shops and they were open quite till, till late as well um, and uh, we got some snacks from a halal takeaway got some pizza and burgers um, before we went back to the hotel um, before our day trip to Goza the next day <laughs> So as I've mentioned previously, we actually booked a day trip uh, with the sightseeing bus um, to the hotel to, for, to Gozo for one day. Um, and the next few clips is just going to be about that day trip um, and um, how it went, the scenery. Um, so just to give you a bit more information about the day trip. So yes, we booked it through the hotel um, and I don't actually remember the price, um, but it wasn't too bad. It included the ferry as well. Um, so yes, the bus will take you from the hotel to the ferry port um, and you'll get the ferry then, you'll get off the ferry, um, the ferry ride took around 10 minutes, get off the ferry and there will be more buses waiting for you there to take you on Gozo. Um, you can sort of get off and certain stops and stay there for a little while and get the following you know the next buses that come um i think they're hourly um they were hourly in february just because of the season um and um it, they were quite they were quiet that was their quiet season so they were hourly and i'm sure in summer um they run more frequently but um yes you can get off we sort of pick certain stops to get off at um so we sort of got off at three places other than that we decided to stay on the bus um and just just have a look at the scenery and um 
just stay in. Um, it was also chilly that day. Um, so yes, this will the next following clips will be just of the journey in Gozo. <laughs> The second stop we actually got off at was the, sort of the town um, of Gozo and we got off there to get some food um, and just got off and got some McDonald's um, and then straight away got onto the next uh, bus that came, the Satsing bus, uh, because one stop I really wanted to get off was Rambler Bay um, and the reason being is because I really wanted to visit the Talmixter cave, I wanted to climb up. Um, to the cave um, so this is Rambler Bay the yellow sand beach um, and um, I will just show you so there's actually a cave on the right hand side um, and that's something I really wanted to do because um, you can get great views from the cave so that's the cave um, this is a journey up to the cave and um, there's actually not a straight path um, there is um, sort of, you could say, a path, but it's not the bestest path. Um, but this is actually the journey up to the cave and it took around 20 minutes. And um, so if you've got a car, you can actually, there's another way, um, but apparently it takes longer. Um, but it is definitely worth the climb up um, or the drive to the cave. And that's the, you get, you get an amazing view from the top of the cave. So after the sightseeing bus tour was finished, we went back to St George's Bay and again went back to the same takeaway which was called Adana Kebab Takeaway, um, got dinner there and um, that was actually the end of the second day. 
um, and this is actually the beautiful view from the balcony of our hotel room and um, so the Corinthians and George's Bay um, and this is actually the sunrise on our last day and um, on the last day we decided to actually explore a nearby beach and um, so the beach is um, next to the hotel it's around it takes around 10 minutes um, and um, it's sort of a secluded beach um, not very well known so it was more quieter um, but before we were headed for the beach we again decided to um, go and take advantage of the leisure facilities of the hotel so the jacuzzi and the indoor swimming pool and the sauna um, area but yes I really like this hotel as they had so much to offer um, and I know I probably said that for the hundredth time now um, but it was really good um, and really enjoyed my stay there um, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as well So that's the end of the Malta video um, and that was the weekend um, trip in Malta, the three day trip. Um, I hope you guys find this video helpful and um, I certainly enjoyed filming it um, and I enjoyed filming the little clips. Um, so yes, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, do remember to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye!